Okay, so today in Ultimate Team, EA have given us another flashback item. We got flashback Witzel last week. This week, we've got an 86 rated flashback, Lauren Koscielny, the former Arsenal centre back. And this flashback is celebrating his prolific 2015 16 Premier League season for the Gunners. So, uh, you guys know the drill by now. In this video, we will, of course, be completing the SPCs to get this card. And then we're going to try him out to see if he's worth the pickup or not. Instantly, I'm seeing two SBCs, so I'm a bit worried. You need an 84 rated squad with a Premier League and a League Un player, and you then need a. Um, wait, did I just say you need a Premier League squad? No, you don't. You need an 84 overall squad. Um, and for the next one, you need an 85 overall squad with a France player. Um, I won't lie, for an 86 rated centre back, that seems a bit pricey to me. Um, but let's get it done anyway, and let's see what we can do with this card shall we right then here is how we're going to complete the past and present spc we've got a bit of a premier league theme and also a league un one at the top and yeah there's not too much to say for completing that one we get a jumbo gold pack and then for the 85 rated team we will be submitting this obviously mandanda covers our french requirement and uh, we've got a couple of high rated players in there to keep the rating high as well so uh yeah for that one it's a small rare mixed players pack and now, the SBC is complete, Lauren Koscielny is coming into the club and, wow, I'm impressed here. you've actually got the design and the dynamic uploaded in time this week, that is great to see, hopefully it will be on the walkout as well, will it, come on, show us, show us, is it, what, what's happened, ah, there we go, eventually it happens, no walkout, oh no, he is coming in very, very slowly, making his way in, I guess he is a bit older now, anyway, let's get him in the club and let's see what he has to offer. This is the team we're going to be using Koscielny in. His centre-back partner is going to be Happy Fee, aka Ket Zuma. Okay, let's have a look at this card. High low work rate, no, low high work rates, um, which is obviously good to see for a centre-back. Stands at six foot one as well, so it is at a decent height. In terms of player traits, the only one really to mention there is probably Power Header. Now, in terms of in-game stats, there is a lot to like, to be honest. Um, obviously, he's been given a massive pace boost compared to his non-inform, which is the biggest positive. Um, his passing attributes look very nice for a centre-back, and uh, defensively also looks very, very solid. And physically, I think the same can be said as well. In terms of a chem style, I'm thinking we go with Anker. What would you guys go with? Let me know in the comments. So let's just quickly jump onto Footbin and compare to his non-inform. As expected, massive boost in the pace department. That's a plus 22. And um, every other area has been given a nice boost as well. The balance actually went up plus 10, which is a sizable upgrade, as is the plus 10 on the stamina as well. So, um, yeah, nice little upgrade for him. Obviously, we're going to apply an anchor chem style. And in-game, that makes him a 91-rated centre-back. Shadow is definitely an option as well, but um, I like the idea of boosting that strength a little bit more. And let's be honest, 82 pace is more than enough, or at least in theory, should be. So, for Coach Shelney's debut, we come up against this. It's a nice hybrid, actually. Bundesliga and La Liga. Haaland is the man Coach Shelney is going to have to deal with. First touch of the ball for Coach Shelney. will be a punt out wide to the winger, and Okone gets on the end of it nicely. And we have an opportunity to attack here. Ball's whipped into the box and Ben Yedder gets his head to it, but unfortunately, he cracks the bar. The opponent is trying to run through with Haaland. He must be trying to do them objectives. Because Shelney, with a very aggressive challenge there, has uh, managed to not commit a foul and uh, has actually got us a free kick. And after 10 minutes, my opponent has rage quit. I won't lie, I just ran right on him. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. Let's move on into another game quickly. In this matchup, we're up against Jamie Vardy and icon John Barnes. And he's also got one to watch, uh, Thomas Party in his team, who I think is outstanding in this game. If you haven't tried that card, I do recommend it. His, uh, his inform slash one to watch is very, very good. Opportunity, the ball is whipped in, and Koscielny's actually been knocked off the ball there. Chance, Koscielny pings the ball up the field, and... I don't know what's happening here, but we've now got an opportunity to score with Ben Yedder, and we have. Don't know what my opponent was doing there, defensively. It might have been an issue with the game, actually, where players don't lock onto the ball properly. But um, nonetheless, we've taken full advantage, and Koscielny's got an assist out of absolutely nothing. Chance for Fardy. He thinks he's going to come forward, but Koscielny's not going to allow him to do that. Eventually wins a throw. I mean, I've just thrown the ball into a bit of stupid danger there, but 
Koscielny comes across, shows good strength to force Vardy off the ball. My own player's blocking my clearance there. And shortly after that, we have yet another rage quit. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Rivals is going well today. I'm still in, like, foot champs mode where I'm playing a bit sweaty, so... Yeah, and I think obviously a lot of people have passed that 30 game cap now, so they're just happy to wear quick games. Here we go again. So, we face this in the next matchup. It's going to be Huang Hee Chan and Alex Teixeira up against Koscielny. My opponent's got a really pacey backline as well. Oh, that's nice from Koscielny there. Aggressive tackle, ball came loose and we got the ball back. Koscielny. Koscielny. Koscielny! Oh, Paulinho, dispossessed initially by Koscielny, but unfortunately the bounce goes back to my opponent. Is this ref going to blow for half time? Finally, Koscielny almost had to make a very important tackle there on Teixeira. 1 1 at the break. It's Paulinho. Koscielny dispossesses him though. Can we get the ball away? Yes, we can. Nice interception there from Koscielny. Having to do a lot of defensive work in this game. Balls out wide to Tashira. Koscielny there comes across and deals with him well. Can we get the right through ball here? Oh, we can. We've made the most of that. Ikone should get in behind Tellez. And now can we get ourselves a goal from it? Oh, the ball just got deflected there. Okay, well there is full time in that matchup. And arguably that was one of Koscielny's better games. He was definitely a lot more involved in that matchup. So, uh... Yeah, not a bad effort. Well, now we've had a few outings with this Lauren Koscielny item. It's time to review its performances. And look, we'll make this quick. This doesn't have to go on for long. It's a good card, but it's just that. It's not a brilliant card. It's not an excellent card. It's, it's a good item. And will it be sold for you in FIFA for the next month or two? Yeah, it probably will because it is a decent centre-back option. But this card really just doesn't have too much longevity because already there are better centre-backs in the game than this card. And over the next few months, obviously, many more are going to come into the game. So straight up, the price, the value of this card... Um, value for money just isn't that great in my opinion. 100k for this card is just massively overpriced by EA. I really feel like this card should probably be half the price if I'm being fully honest. But um, yeah, we can discuss the price a bit more in the comment section. What do you guys make of it? Let me know down below. Anyway, let's now get on to in-game. How is he? Well, first of all, is a pacey centre-back. Is he rapid? No, but he's pretty quick compared to the majority of centre-backs in the game, which is very, very nice. He's very quick when sprinting and um, coming forward and um, when getting back. The issue I had with him though was on the turn he didn't feel that quick. He actually felt quite heavy which was kind of surprising because his agility of 66 isn't bad for a centre back. Now I know 66 agility isn't great in the grand scheme of things when you talk about midfielders, attackers etc but for a defender that isn't terrible. So um, I did expect him to be a bit quicker on the turn but in game just didn't feel it to be honest. And um, Positionally obviously quite pleased with the card just sits back and does a job to be honest. Um, when he does get out of position, he quickly gets back, so that's obviously nice. And in terms of tackling ability, honestly, no complaints. He's a very good tackler, both slide and stand tackle, and he makes good intercepts as well. So from a defensive point of view, in like one-on-one -on -one situations, a very good card. Also, has good strength and aggression, so will fight for the ball a good amount as well. So, um, yeah, a, a decent item. A good centre-back card, as I say. Just not a brilliant one, and not one that's worth 100k, in my opinion. So, uh yeah, unfortunately, this, this this review seems negative, but it's not. I don't want it to be a negative review because the card, like I say, is very usable and it's a good item, but it is just not worth the 100k price tag. That's just way too much for this item, in my opinion. So, uh, unfortunately, I cannot advise doing this SBC to get this card unless you're a fan of Koscielny um, or the teams that he's played for, of course. Um, should also mention that he's a decent passer of the ball for a centre-back as well. He can distribute from deep, and you saw that in the clips. But um, other than that, that's pretty much all I've got to say in this review. If you've got any questions remaining about the card, pop them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer them. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.